Hello and welcome. If you're new to my channel, I'm Violet. And I'm actually going to be doing a, um, a quest video. I received a companion quest. If you're not familiar with the ESO or you're a brand new player and not really sure how companions work, you build rapport with your companions as you're questing with them or doing whatever with them. After you do the initial companion quest to get your companion, you start getting these quests from your companions as you build rapport. So apparently when you get the first companion quest from them, um, you've built a lot more rapport because it happened with me with Bastion and now we are no longer, I think, acquaintances. We are now, or he's no longer cordial with me. We are now friendly. So I'm going to be friendly with Miri when I'm done with this quest. <laughs> So that's what I'm doing. So let's get in the game. Let's grab Miri and let's do her quest. You have a moment. Something's come up. All right. Let's see. Let's find out what's come up with Miri. I got a letter from my father about my mother, Areni. She's gone missing. She has a habit of running off on an adventure at the drop of a hat and being gone for weeks at a time. But Dad says she's been out of touch for a while now. He's worried. What's on the docket today? Your mother's an adventurer? Yeah, it runs in the family. Well, mom's side. Dad's a Halalu trader she partnered with for years before settling down. Mostly settling down. She'd acquire all sorts of rare items for their clients, but my father said they haven't had any commissions. Any idea where she may have gone? Mom neglected to mention it, I'm sure, but my father mentioned getting an angry letter from one of their old clients at the Stormhold Mages Guild, claiming she reneged on their arrangement after taking payment. Would you mind if we pay them a visit? No, I don't mind. I'll help you find your mother. Hope we find something interesting today. I take it this isn't the first time you've had to go chasing after her. It's that obvious, eh? When Mum's in one of her flighty moods, it usually sorts itself out, but sometimes she gets so wrapped up in something it becomes an obsession. Someone has to talk some sense into her, and that someone is usually me. Why does it always fall on you? I got my mom's knack for adventure and my dad's level-headedness, so I'm the only one who's both crazy enough to go after her and sane enough to talk some sense into her. I also happen to be their eldest child, so it's my filial duty to the house. Do you have a lot of family obligations? <laughs> Not so much. Our family is of little consequence, so we're free to be a bunch of impetuous miscreants chasing our own whims. If I'd been born to one of the great houses, I'd either be a pawn in their schemes or a disappointment, like father. Your father's a disappointment? He's a seventh son of a seventh son in House Halalu, so he wasn't going to amount to anything without climbing over his siblings. Dad's too sweet for that, so we wound up marrying into our little house for something as unprofitable as love. Have you ever been to Stormhold? We lived there for a good few years when I was young. It was awkward at times. Argonians don't trust Dark Elves, for good reason. I like to think my parents showed them different, but not everyone warmed up to us. Hardly surprising that Argonians are wary of Dark Elves. I know. I know. It just ashes my hide that a few rotten fetches ruined it for the rest of us. But that's not quite the truth. It's easy to blame it all on House Drez and the Telvanni, but they weren't the only ones keeping slaves before the pact. Did your family keep slaves? No. My mom and dad never approved of it. I even had a cousin who was forced into servitude, and they helped my uncle free him at great risk to themselves. But... Our ancestors that... Uh, I don't know. That burden's on them. It's not yours. Yeah, I suppose. I just feel foolish for taking our innocence for granted. If my ancestors weren't guiltless, I'll just have to be better than them. That's all there is to it. I can start by getting my mother to act more responsibly. All right, so we have to go to Stormhold. So, uh, Miri and I will make our way to Stormhold, and we will see you there. Some people don't like the bustle of cities, but I come from a big family, so it reminds me of home. All right, Miri, here we are. We are in uh, Stormhold. I always get lost in this city. It's like in this big circle, and... 
They say the hist weeps with happiness when an Argonian hatches. So far, so good. So far, so... Oh, okay. We go in there. Into the fighter's guild, it looks like. I saw a strange light oh, come to my town. Put some thought into your strikes. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Uh, I think this way. High Elf matches Mert Olivian's description. Ask him if he's seen a Reni Alendis. I should probably hang back. Alright, you hang back, Mary. I'll go talk to this Mert Olivian. Stop following me if you're gonna hang back. Do I know you? I don't believe I do. Did you meet with a Reni Alendis recently? Huh. <laughs> I don't see how that's any of your affair. But if you must know, I did cross paths with that unscrupulous dark elf, and I'm worse for it. What's your interest in Irene? I suppose she cheated you as well. She cheated you? She came to me seeking information, and given our long-standing association, I entrusted her with it on the assurance that she would do me a simple favor in return. Instead, she ran off and played me for a fool. No one makes a fool of me. Look, I really need to find a, a Rennie. And I really need the antique ink pot she promised to procure. I'll tell you what I told her, Rennie, but only after my ink pot is returned to me and not a moment sooner. I'll not have my good faith taken advantage of again. All right, you have a deal. My inkwell is currently in the possession of a banker here in Stormhaven. The result of an ill-advised card game. They seem to enjoy lording their victory over me, so they refuse to part with it at any price. I want it returned. I don't care how. Why is this inkwell worth so much trouble to you? It's one of a kind. The first work of the current sapiarch of shape and form when they were still a student. Irreplaceable. I never thought an Argonian would beat me at the cards, but the banker has more of a head for numbers than I expected. If it was so important to you, why did you wager it? I didn't. I just got so thoroughly thrashed at the table that I needed to offer collateral. Underroot must have known what a singular treasure it is. Now that she has it in her greedy claws, she'll never let it go. Willingly, anyway. Quite a snob, isn't he? Quite a quite a snob indeed. I caught the gist of that. That sweat actually wanted my mom to rob a bank. I'm glad she had enough sense not to go through with it. Unless the reason we haven't heard from her is because she's in jail. Uh, no, uh, no, she she wouldn't. You don't sound so sure. I mean, adventuring can be dirty business. My family is nothing but a bunch of no-good tomb robbers, depending on who you ask. But there's a big difference between digging through old ruins for treasure and outright stealing. Do you think she might really be in jail? No. If that were the case, she'd have written my father to pay her bounty. And while he should let her sit and learn her lesson, he's too much of a softy. She probably ran off like Mert said. So now it's us who have to get our hands dirty. Hmm. Maybe not. We'll figure something out. Let's hope so. But if we do wind up breaking the law, I could have a worse partner in crime. You're a good friend. Oh, thank you. You're a good friend too, Mary. You saved my life a lot. Let's pay a visit to the bank. I can't believe I have to steal from a bank for my own fetching mother. This is why no one takes our house seriously. All right, Mary, don't you worry. We are going to uh, pay a visit to the bank. You'd think the guards would have found something by now. What? 
You expect them to do their job. Find the inkwell. Act casual. Just two people admiring the decorations. <clears throat> Oh, this is such a nice bank, isn't it? Oh, such refined taste. Okay, that's real casual, Mary. Alright, I think the person I need to talk to is up here, so if we have to act casual, I'm gonna walk up the stairs. And to whoever it is I need to speak to. Mm, barge in, why don't you? It's not like I'm trying to work. This is a private office. Well, as private as an office could be that has no door or walls and barely fits a desk. I used to work in a much larger bank. I'm just admiring the decor. Of course you are. Let me guess. Mir Tulevon's still trying to get his antique inkwell back. I swear, ever since Underroot won that cursed thing, it's been one bother after another. I suppose it makes a nice distraction from the tedium. I hear gold makes a pleasant distraction. Maybe you could count yours somewhere else? Not much of a windfall, but I suppose it'll take me a moment or two to update my ledger. I'm sure you can see yourself out. Mm, yeah, I can. We won't keep you. I'll just be over here counting my gold. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Got it? That's not overstay our welcome. That's why I'm running. All right. Back to the Fighters Guild. Where's the Fighters Guild? We moved to the Fighters Guild? Or to the Mages Guild? Okay. Uh, oh, good. He's straight ahead. Dare I ask, is the deed done? Is my little treasure to be returned to me at last? Yep, here's your ink well. Is it really that valuable? Do you have any idea how rare it is for a creation this ugly to survive on Somerset? Uh, let alone one made by the premier authority on sculpture? I even had the original assignment's written grade. Barely satisfactory. Uh, it's priceless. Right. So tell me about your meeting with Irene Lendis. At least Irene had an appreciation for rarities. I sent her to meet another antiquity hunter I deal with who made a discovery in Stone Falls that Irene would be interested in. Too interested. Who did you send her to meet? Edvilda Stonestalker. She was probing my interest in Duomo relics. I've no interest in it, but I knew Irene has an unhealthy interest in them. She was camped near Steamfont, last I heard. That's all I can tell you, so our business is concluded. Thank you for your information. You have a good one, sir. All right. I guess we have to go to Stone Falls now. So, that's where I will be headed. So, here we are in the lovely land of Stone Falls, and we're gonna go talk to this Elvita chick. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, campus in the mountains. Can we go this way? No, let's go this way. Someone killed 
killed her. Let's search the camp. Dumb Nyx Hound. Hmm, we got a couple things to look at. Elvita's logbook. Better stay out of the rift for a bit. Not that I did anything wrong, but some Nords are so touchy about old shrines and barrows. Still, the small figural pieces I managed to scavenge will fetch a pretty nice, a pretty price from the right collectors. One tiny mammoth figure, ivory carved. Two tinier mammoth figures, also carved. Ivory, a bit ironic when I think about it. One small bear figure, could be a skeever for all I know. The wood's been gnawed badly. Do draugr teeth? I don't want to stay in Stone Falls too long. Smells like the armpit of Mehrun's Dagon, or at least how I'd imagine Dagon's armpit would smell. But the steam font place seems safe enough for camp, as far as dwarven ruins go. I wanted to try my luck. Scavenge at the inner sea armature, but I heard that there are bandits hiding there now. I should be far enough away that they won't bother me, but damn if that isn't my luck. That map I bought from Mert is already paying off. No big scores yet, but I found some old pottery I can sell to a historian. Small vase, unusual markings. First era, maybe? We'll need to research. Have a couple of buyers who like this sort of thing. Make up something if I have to. Change my mind. This map hasn't led me to anything worth half what I paid for it. Think I'm going to do some snooping around armature after all. Bandits won't miss any old dwarven junk. Damn it. There are a ton of bandits down that sodding hole. Helped myself to some of their rations, but I couldn't risk poking around. Orky take you, Mert. If I hadn't spent my last gold on your map, I could catch a fairy somewhere out of this ash pit. Anywhere. Remembered Mert used to work with a dark elf who was keen on dwarven junk. Said she'd pay a small fortune for leads on a dwarf puzzle box. I'm gonna get Mert to send her my way, put some gold in my pocket. If she happens to clear out those bandits, all the better for me. Hmm, okay. That must be, uh, Mary's mom. A homemade scarf. Did Edvilda write down anything important? Mom was definitely here. She had to have gone in a hurry if she left this scarf behind. Did Edvilda write down anything that would clue us in on where my mother's gone? It looks like Elvita was trying to sell your mother false information about a puzzle box. Oh, not that fetching thing again. Mom, she's been chasing after my grandfather's Dwemer puzzle box for decades. Ever since the old Mer joined our ancestors at the tomb, it's her obsession. Don't tell me they got into a fight over it. Well, Elvita planned to send a Rennie into the inner sea armature, which is full of bandits. Great. Just great. So the shifty Nord met my mother out here and ran afoul of bandits? That explains what happened to Edvilda, but Mom's not here, thank Vec. But if she'd escaped, we'd have heard from her, right? They must have taken her captive. Let's head into this inner sea armature and look for her. I've never been to the inner sea armature. It must not be too far from Edvilda's camp. Three. I hope Mum's all right. I'm sure she'll be fine, Miri. I'm sure she will be fine. Besides, I've been through the inner sea armature before, and it's not that bad. Okay, let's go this way. I think. Ooh, I've never seen this place before. Okay, anyway. Inner sea armature. It's below. Zoinks. Ow. Inner sea armature. Dwarven pipes. By oh, that cave. This looks promising. Look at here. The inner sea armature. Okay, Mary. Let's be ready. Oh, 
Anything can jump out at us. Jump out at us any moment. Okay, what are we looking for? My daughters, or maybe, well, you look nice. We'll get properly introduced after I'm out of these shackles. Jeez Louise. Don't mind Miri. She takes too much after her father. I've been dying to finally meet the person my daughter's been adventuring with. Though I hadn't planned on being chained up like a common criminal upon our first meeting. How did you wind up like this? I was negotiating a lead from a contact I met out by Steam Font, and talks got a little heated. She was trying to take me for a ride, I could tell. And we must have caught the attention of these feckless swits. They tried to rob us. Is that how Elvita died? She tried to make a run for it, and they cut her down without a second thought. Figured I'd take my chances with another approach. Offered to be their cook if they spared my life. Fortunately, they aren't picky. I was beginning to run out of recipes. We probably shouldn't linger here. No, I suppose not. Won't be long before one of these fools gets bored or hungry and comes to swipe something from the pantry. You've done a fine job looking after Miri, so I'll follow your lead. But don't think we're done talking. Okay, let's go. Can we please just get out of here now? Yes, we're getting out of here now, Miri. Not to worry. Besides... You and I make a great team. these people when I came in. I really don't like your odds. Mary, you should know me better by now. I think I'm lost though. Oh no, I'm not. I thought I was lost. and clear just because we escaped the bandits. What were you thinking? Oh, come now, Miri. I've been doing this since before you were in diapers. And you're not getting any younger. We almost lost Liam, and you nearly lost this. Would you trade it for that stupid puzzle box? Liam's scarf? Miri, I... I... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry I worried you all. It's just... I'll let it go. We love you, Mom. We're your family. Go home. Hey, I need to talk to you. Well, now I feel the fool. I made you all worry. Dragged you into this mess. Sorry to be such a pain in the arse, as my daughter would put it. Does this mean you're going to stop running off on a whim? Maybe it's time I hung up my adventurer's rock and settled in with my worry wart of a husband. I just hate leaving things unfinished. Why is this puzzle box important to you? 
It was my father's prized possession. He spent decades trying to unravel its mysteries, until it was stolen from him. Then he spent the rest of his life trying to get it back, and most of mine after he died. I thought it might finally make him happy. I know it probably seems like I'm being harsh, but Mom's been at this more times than I can count. She promises to give up on it, but then she catches some whiff of a lead about that damn box and she's off like a race squaw. At least she's alright. This time, death was the only thing that stopped my grandfather from chasing after that stupid trinket. I don't want it to be the same for her. You can only keep rolling the dice in this life for so long. Do you really think she she'll give up this time? I hope so. Probably not. But I've weighed her down with enough guilt to hold her for a little while, at least. Either way, sorry for dragging you into my family drama. Should we make sure your mother returns home safely? Are you kidding? If I don't get you out of here, she'll make you meet the entire extended family. Davin's watch is just down the road. She can make her way home from there. Thank you for putting up with all this. I'll make it up to you. You're my friend, Mary. You're welcome. Ooh, what is this? Hmm. Something you need to discuss? Nope. I'm gonna open the little envelope you gave me and see what I got. Alright, so let's see what, she, what I got here. This envelope contains a couple of treasure maps that Mary thought you might enjoy hunting for. Hmm. Okay. So now... Problem, Sarah. If I talk about us... What would you like to talk about? How do you feel about a relationship? We've already been through more together than most people I've known. Feels like I've known you forever. Not tired of you yet, though. Okay. Let's talk about something else. Change of plans? What would you like to talk about? Tell me something about yourself, Mary. My dad's an antiquarian. He gave me an appreciation of cultural artifacts. Mom showed me how to find them. I prefer to treat such things with the respect they deserve. Hmm. So now, I'm no Something longer cordial to... with her. I am officially... Uh, friendly. I used to be cordial, but now I'm friendly. Because I helped her with her mom. And... Let me get this real quick. Nothing wrong with a little opportunistic harvesting. No, not at all, Mary. Alright guys, well that's it for this video. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to check it out. And until the next time, be safe, be well, and take care. Bye!